Welcome to episode 9 of the Knitting Yak Virtual Edition. Today's guest is Melanie Berg. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Paola. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes I can hear so you. Good. Good you. Okay, thank you. you. <laughs> it's a bit late. I, you didn't re- we didn't realize there was going to be a bit late for you in Germany, yeah? Yes, it's, um, I think it's because we switched to summertime late last week or so, or two weeks ago, or maybe yeah. three weeks ago. Timing is a bit fuzzy these days yeah. because, yeah. Um, it so is. yes, it's 10, it's 10 o'clock here. It's uh, okay. dark outside and it's good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> you have a, a very strong light uh, on your desk side. I don't know if you, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That makes you, we don't really see your face. Perfect. Uh, yeah yeah and uh well welcome everybody i see there are people coming and joining us from all over the world i just saw somebody coming up uh, popping up from chile as well this is exciting it's like (laughs) oh look at that oh can you do that i love (laughs) um i'm just trying to to make it stop (laughs) Okay, I just leave it as it. I love the idea of having you yeah. <laughs> in a different universe, almost. <laughs> oh, wow. So, like every time that you know, the few times that I've done this uh, uh, this chat so far, we always ask people to um, to send in your question. If you have any questions, if we don't get to you, it means that we are moving on or we didn't read them. So, you know, don't be afraid of uh, typing in your questions again. Um, we are going to talk about some designs. So I have uh, um, Carlotta from Italy, from my team. She's trying to type in the words of the, the name of the design sometimes if we talk about it. And oh, there you go. That's a, a lot oh. of people. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what are you doing? So there is some, yeah, it looks strange to me. There is some overlays. So yes, I, I, yes, yes. I, I think you are that. making the overlays yourselves. Yourself. Yes, but I want I want it to go away, and it's not. <laughs> going I'm enjoying away. them. So I don't, I'm sure. Yeah, you are enjoying them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Hi, Antonia. I just saw you pop in there. Um, and Teresa, these are a lot of the people that we know. So nice to see all of you guys. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, as usual, the time flies, and uh, we only have 55 minutes before Instagram. Uh, cuts us off but I know you've done this have you done a few of these chats before in German yeah yes yeah a yes. couple of weeks ago um, together with Jane and Steffi from a famous German podcast I don't think they are known very internationally because they podcast in German right um, and we we just had a, a good talk and it was a bit about knitting but also about lots of other things and um very easy yeah. going. So I yeah. hope it I actually, will, yeah, it I did follow a couple of them. It's, uh, my German is a bit rusty, but I could follow. So that was very nice, very interesting to, to hear the two of you Thanks. talking. And mm-hmm. I hope it's going to be the same. You know, it's nothing serious. We just want to entertain people for a little while. I actually had, uh, are you, you, you're having a white wine? You're having some sparkling wine? wine? Sparkling wine. I yeah. had a drink. Uh, with uh, uh, Yuna and Sini from Laine uh, on, was it Saturday? Yeah. On Saturday, <laughs> we made this uh, Italian spritz and uh, like 10, 15 minutes into the chat, I was drunk with just like a couple oh. of sips. I thought okay. I was so out of it. I was so tipsy. I could hardly <laughs> remember what I was talking about. So <laughs> I decided that I, water is going to be my drink tonight. <laughs> I still have the, um, a bit of the wine you gave to me yeah, when we were in Italy, uh, the what's what's the name of the brand again? It's a Rosinato or something like that. No, it's a, oh my goodness no. me, it's the Moscato. No, it's not Moscato. Is it Moscato? No, not Moscato. Um, no. Yes, it's sweet wine. Elena, Carlotta, you there? Is <laughs> 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 uh, um, it's a sweet wine. I can't remember. Pasito. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like it so much. It's very I love good. It. I love that too. And yeah, and uh, everybody will talk about you coming to Italy with us as well. But uh, uh, first, tell us a little bit, you know, you're, you're at home, but I know that you, uh, because you're such a healthy and uh, uh, outdoor person. So has this, uh, um, you know, 
situation change your routine or you still can go out and do things? Um, so I'm, I'm here in Germany. We are in the western part of Germany. And um, you have to know that Germany is divided in 16 counties mm -hmm. and each of them can make their own rules. Oh. So, um, I mean, not, not, in, not in terms of laws, the laws apply to everyone, of course, but if the government, so the government cannot really issue a lockdown. They can make a recommendation and then each of the several counties can say, okay, I follow or I adjust, or I ignore, or whatever. Usually they, they all react similarly, but sometimes there's, there is variation. So, well, anyway, we are now in, the, in week five or six five, or so. Five, I like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Um, and for me, this means, or for us, it means we are, so schools are closed, that is the probably what has the biggest impact on my life right now because we have three children. They are uh, eight, nine, and 10 years old and they are home all day. So um, this definitely changes my everyday life yeah. because usually they are, well, they leave in the morning, go to school and come back at 3 p.m. or so, um, which gives me a lot of time to work. And now I just don't have that time. Yeah. I mean. I, it's not like I have to take care of them all day, but they receive um, ex um, not exercises like homework, tasks from task, school, yeah. homework yeah. from school, and um, the ten-year-old she can work alone. She's pretty confident, and she well, she she's really clever and can sort sort it out on her own. But the other ones really need more help. Yeah. Also in understanding, I mean, the eight-year-old, she's only a second grade, so she she can read, but it's not like if there is a an exercise for her to understand that she understands it in the same moment that she reads it. Yeah. So she, yeah. she can read the words, but sometimes the meaning is just too complicated. And so every five minutes, a child comes and says, oh, look at this. Yeah. Or, what does that mean? And... um. It's, it's okay because I don't have any deadline work at the moment, which is um, making me happy because yeah. it, it would be very difficult. Um, next, um, all shops are closed, except um, if they are essential, like grocery stores and gas stations, they are open, but you can't go out for shopping clothes or for cutting your hair. My friend cut my hair two days ago. Oh, and, wow. uh, she's not She's not a haircutter, so she did it for the first time, and it turned out okay. I I it's good. Actually, the other day in one, oh look at that! I think I want your friend to come over. I just had to pull them all. Day. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, you actually in one of the chats you had curly hair, and it looked mm. so pretty. It was really, really nice. I really liked it. I really, you know, it looked really like young and funky. It's cool. It, yeah. I really like that. It's it's what happens when I wash my hair and then don't do anything. Oh, wow. I'm straightening. Ah, I'm straightening yeah. most of the time. You should things. do it more often. It really looks like good on you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. A lot of people said that. So I'm now I'm 50-50. Sometimes I straighten and sometimes I and just... Some yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes. But uh, I think um, the, you know, some of the stores uh, have reopened in some areas as well. In some of the young yes, stores, I of, think. As of Monday, yeah. So as of Monday this week, um, but this is um, each county can decide. Yeah. So this is not on an on a national on yeah. nation, nationwide um, plan, but each county can decide themselves. And here in my town, I'm not even sure uh, yeah. what the situation is. But I think hairdressers can open from next week on <laughs> oh. if they have a plan for um, a security health plan, like all the customers have to sit two meters apart and they have right. to wear masks and yeah, yeah. things like certain regulations. Right. Same here. So, so you say you have less time to knit, but do you think that your creativity has changed at all in the last five weeks or you... You know, you think you're fine and you have still have plenty of your ideas and... Mm. 
proud to say, I don't know, I do have time to knit. Um, it's not like I, I don't have any time or so. Um, it feels like the, the center of my life has shifted at the moment. And I'm sure this is true for many people on this planet right yeah. now. Before it was, I would say 60% work and then 30% family and 10% hobby. Oh. Like 90% family, 10% work and 0% hobby <laughs> because yeah. climbing gyms obviously are closed right now. Um, yeah. I have to say that I do enjoy the increased family time. It's, um, we don't go on our nerves yet. So, I mean, there is, of oh, course, with the children, there is always a little fight going on yeah. and they, it, it's not all harmony, but, um, all in all, it's really good. Um, I also enjoy having my husband at home all day, which is, so he's working from home for, 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 for five weeks now. Mm. And, um, his, his company is really flexible because they are very aware of the fact that all the parents at the moment have issues working from home because there's little children around. So they are very um, open to giving every employee the time they yeah. need. And yeah, well, because there's nothing they can do about it anyway. Yeah. So t today um, a coworker of my husband called him to, to let him know that, Hey, I'm sorry. I, I know I should work, but I just can't because I have three children here. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's, and it's okay because yeah. really, what, what can you do? Um, so to your question, I, I really don't know. I don't feel any change except for that I have less time less to time. work. The work itself is still more or less the right. same, I would say, as well, I, I must say that when I was looking, you know, of course, you know, I have all of your patterns and we just, you know, we, 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 we try to need them everything we can of your patterns. We love them. And uh, while I was trying to prepare, uh, last time we spoke and you agreed on this date uh, uh, and I was trying to prepare to, you know, to think about taking my personal uh, uh, peek of what uh, designs I want to talk about. I think you must have posted and, uh, and, and probably published another two without even me noticing. So <laughs> you're still very prolific, <laughs> even if you don't think you are. Yeah. I think maybe you had things already in the, in the queue and you just That's had it. to, to publish That's them. It. But there, was, there, yeah. is one, there is one pattern I published yesterday the Islander. Yeah. I just sent it to your okay. rivalry. Yes. rivalry. And um, it was actually planned to be published in June at a retreat with the Northlight Fibers guys on Block Island. Oh, yeah. But now the, re the retreat is cancelled. Uh, or it's not cancelled. It's postponed, postponed. to next, um, next May. Yeah. But um, so we, I, we didn't want to keep the pattern on hold until oh, next right. May. And so we actually moved it to now, April, also to help them in, well, supporting their sales a bit because for all the small companies, it's yeah. a hard time right now. Yeah. And um, so there's a lot of uh, shifting and postponing at the moment yeah. uh, in, my, uh, in my pattern schedule, but I try to have one out every month so that, uh, oh, wow. well, there is. Okay. So if you're listening, just make sure <laughs> you have your needles uh, free and ready to go every month for one of uh, uh, Melanie's <laughs> patterns. And uh, you mentioned something uh, just now, you know, when you said uh, uh, that you want to, you know, you publish that pattern, the Islander, that's the name, uh, to support uh, the people that uh, you were supposed to do the retreat with on Block Island. And I think Sarah Solomon was also part of that retreat, yeah? Yes, that's yeah. my friend Sarah. Yeah. And... Uh, um, and I think that says a lot about you. I think for me, you, are, as well as other designers as well, but you in particular, you're always very, very um, engaged in a lot of uh, uh, charity and not-for-profit uh, uh, activities. And you're doing a lot throughout the year. In the, you know, it speaks a lot about who you are and, 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 how, you, uh, and, and, and how you approach your work as well. And uh, do you want to talk about it? I mean, every year you do the uh, the Knitters Against Malaria, for example, mm -hmm. 
which you know we're always proud to participate in yeah. but you take these causes to heart you did something for the um wildfires in australia if i recall mm -hmm. and uh, right. you know so do you want to talk about mm -hmm. that what are their passions you know not that and how do you use your knitting and your creativity mm -hmm. for those uh you know not for profit or to help other mm -hmm. uh, other people mm -hmm. um I I remember a time in my life when I didn't not have a when I did not have a lot of money to give away to to charities. That was when the children were very young and I was on parental leave, so that means your income is very low compared to what you're used to and um that was really a I mean I, it was not poverty obviously, but we had to really take care and count every euro and see uh well, how, how to make money last to the end of the month. Um, situation has improved since then. So I often have the feeling that I have a lot and that allows me to support others because, um, I don't know, this, this is just important. It is not like we are living in an, we are isolated beings in an, in an isolated yeah. world. We are all connected to each other, especially in these times as we are, now it is very obviously yeah. um it's very obvious how strongly we are connected to each other sometimes this is a good thing and sometimes not um yeah. for example i don't know i guess the situation is similar in in the us right now um protective gear is all is often fabricated abroad yeah for financial reasons yeah um, which sounded like a clever thing to do unless you are having a pandemic yeah. so yeah um for me this this was a very strong sign of how connected we we are in this world and that sometimes it is not a good thing to rely on these connections but anyway i'm i'm digressing it, um and, and sorry to interrupt you and already a couple of people ask uh, uh, if you can explain what meter, meters against malaria is mm. yes of course so um Every year in December, I'm running an advent calendar. So every day, one of my patterns is discounted. And then it's, it's like um, a little door that opens on my Instagram. And then you can see which pattern is discounted. And it's, it's like a daily surprise. And um, so this always runs from December 1 to December 24. And um, when I did it for the first time, that was five or six years ago, I wanted to... Um, well, so also support a charity with that. And um, I think I supported um, Doctors Without Borders yeah. back then. Yeah. And also in the year, in the yeah. next year. And um, then after a couple of years, my friends from Rosie Green approached me and um, they said they wanted to join in with, uh, in, in a way. And if we could uh, maybe think of something to, to do together. And that's when we came up with Knitters Against Malaria. It's a fundraiser that runs every year from December 24 to January 31st. And we are always asking supporters in the knitting world to help spread the word. So we are not actually asking for money from our supporters. I mean, everyone of course is welcome to contribute, but yeah. our main goal is to spread awareness, to make yeah. everyone, well, firstly aware of what um, the Against Malaria Foundation is doing because uh, their work is really super important. Malaria is a disease that kills several million people each year and um, it is so easy to prevent and they prevent it by um, giving away free mosquito bed nets. One bed net costs two to three euro and protects yeah two people for two years or something like that. Yeah, so with yeah, yeah, relatively yeah. no money, you can um, make a big impact. So we ask our supporters to, well, let their followers know and to make many people aware of this fundraiser that we are organi or organizing. Um, yes, that is the Knitters Against Malaria Foundation. Yeah. So of the Knitters Against Malaria event. Um, and then with the wildfires, that was just the, with the wildfires in Australia, that was just something that I did for my, um, well, for my own followers, not together with any right. other company. And um, just today I finished another fundraiser 
um, to support the Robert Koch Institute. It's Germany's public health institute. They are um, organizing the German fight against Corona, you could say. They are providing analysis and guidance for hospitals and doctors, and they are coordinating research. And um, so they are, they are the main go-to institute at the moment. They, they give daily press briefings and they collect and gather all the numbers. So yeah, all courses I think that are good to support and I'm happy to be able to support right. them. In a way, you know, as you said, I think <coughs> some of us or some uh, or some designers and, you know, again, compared to others, they, you know, they're doing much better in terms of sales and uh, uh, the way they are right now. So they can also afford to, to do that. And it's good that they, you give back like others do. And I think in a way you were talking about before that your husband is able to work at home and have that flexibility is, is a privilege that you know we understand that we have some of us have mm -hmm. and some don't and uh, you know yes, and exactly. so in in general I think you know our consideration and our uh, you know our concern goes out to all of the people that cannot have that and you know they are right now they are you know they have a difficult time and uh, of course you know these chats do just you know a little bit in just uh, relieving uh, that uh, uh, difficulty, even if it's just for for a few minutes. But uh, and I know that knitting uh, uh, goes a long way to you know to help with you know calming you down, occupying your hands when you cannot use it to to touch yeah. your face. And it's a nice way, whether it's knitting or crochet, and it's a nice way to to, to go about it. Yeah. Um, I, I so, think a lot of people a lot of people picked up or came yes. back to knitting in, yeah. in these days. Yeah. We yeah. had a lot of people calling us saying, you know, can you know, what about, I would like to start knit and like, let's start to knit. And, uh, but it's good, you know, and young stores slowly will open up again. At least their online sales. Some of them in the U.S. Mm -hmm. are continuing to offer the online uh, uh, sale as well. So it's good uh, to, to have that. But uh, um, going mm -hmm. back to, uh, you know, changing the topic, a little bit lighter topic, I think, is, uh, um, Think about the time that uh, that the first time that we met, I uh, it was in eight Germany. Eight. Yes, it was yes. at this uh, big husband, trade show. Yeah, my husband right. was with me, and I think my husband instantly hooked up with the guy at your booth, but not with Andrea. But it was your no, partner. No, it was my husband. Yes, it was, it was my husband. your husband. Yeah. Yes, right. Right. it was my husband. Right. Andrea was there. Andrea is uh, uh, our uh, co-founder of Mayak, and uh, but my husband, both Andrea and my husband, were there. At the first days, H and H is a, a big trade show for uh, you know wholesale uh, trade show in Germany in Cologne in Köln, and uh, um, and I remember reaching out to you, you know, uh, asking whether we could meet there because I really wanted to you know showcase our yarn to you, and I was very shy about it. And when I saw you coming in, um, I actually told my husband, "That's Melanie Berg. She's coming this way." <laughs> And I was like, because I'm shy, it was difficult for me to talk. He actually talked to you first. And, uh, and then he started talking to your husband, you know, and, and that was easy from that moment. You know, mm -hmm. it was really nice and uh, understanding how um, easy going and down to earth you are and uh, how approachable and, uh, uh, you know, and then from then, you know, it was very nice to, 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 to start that collaboration. And, uh, um, and, so I'm very, very happy that that happened. You know, just sometimes it's yeah, like little too. sparks um, yeah. that right. uh, then goes a, a long way. And then we met in, you know, different different occasions and different times. You were our first... And we spent the wonderful time in Italy. Yes. So you were our yeah. first the guest designer at the retreat when we had this crazy idea. You know, at the time we thought, okay, let's do a retreat, an Italian retreat in Italy in the... Uh, in Piemonte, you know, in the vineyards and uh, drinking mm -hmm. wine and needs, what else can we think about? Would anybody come? And it was very nice to see uh, many people yes. that uh, yes. uh, came back and, and you came as well. And I think we had a wonderful time, uh, a wonderful time together there and your workshops. It was actually the first time that I tried to sit in a class and knit a shawl. I've never even thought about it. And I was like, I'm never going to need a shawl. What do I need a shawl for? I can knit scarves, but you know, not really shawls. But your class was unbelievable. It was so interesting because you were talking more about the design process and how to choose colors, 
how to mix and yarn together if, or the shapes of the shows you know mm -hmm. I think like unbelievable so it was very very nice and and I know that you like teaching do you do um, yarn or not did you what do you mean <laughs> you do if like I enjoy teaching, it? Yeah? yeah yes absolutely especially at a retreat because <clears throat> Usually when, when you teach at events like Vogue Knitting Life or any other, um, any other big show, then you are very busy because you are in your classroom, students come in, you have a, an intense class with them, yeah. and then they go out and you never see them again. Yeah. It is nice in a way because you get a lot of different impressions from different people. But also you don't really have a chance to get to know them because you are the one who is talking all the time. So yeah. you, you see their faces and sometimes you have a little chat, but it's more, yeah. it's more like a one-way direction and it's not so much an exchange. But on a retreat, it is very different because you have some more time to spend with yeah. each other. You, you stay at the same hotel, maybe you have breakfast together or maybe you go out for a little walk together or any, any other activities. And... Also, the schedule is not as packed for yeah. everyone, yeah. For, the, for the teacher, but also for the students, because I like that so much about your retreat that you gave everyone the freedom to, well, we, we offer these activities and feel free to join. But also, if you just like to hang out in the vineyard, then also feel free to yeah. do that. Um, and also that you don't have like class in the morning, class in the afternoon, and then this schedule for the next four days because yeah i mean most of us knitters are grown-ups so the time in school for us is long ago yes we, yes. Are, we are not used to sitting in a classroom six hours each day yeah. learning yeah. new things we also want to just relax a bit and, and, and enjoy fun. the yeah. company and have fun yeah. so it's um it is really a thing that I, I like about retreats that you get this more personal connection with each yeah. other. And also that it's not so stressed and not so, yeah. uh, well, yeah. Packed. What a schedule, you know, and we are Italian, of course. So, you know, if you recall our retreats are more mm -hmm. neat, eat, drink and start again, neat, eat mm -hmm. and drink and just enjoy and relax <laughs> and sleep and, uh, you know, the occasional spa. So we actually have uh, the next one is in, this October with uh, Isabel Kramer, but we will see whether we can go ahead no. or not. But you know, mm -hmm. if not, we'll just yeah. postpone it as well. But let's talk about some of your designs. So I know that people are waiting to say, what are you doing? <laughs> Show me something. I must say that like the package, the bag full of your designs of all of your shows that we have of yours right now are in uh, Cincinnati somewhere stuck in custom because because always oh, yeah. it always happens to me and uh, uh we ship them from italy uh because we were supposed to go to a couple of festival in europe uh, uh between now and june so all of your yes. designs yes. were there so i'm sure that on friday they will turn up but <laughs> so, but i have i have photos so we can go with those Thank and, you. Uh, <laughs> again this is like um this is a personal and i always say that is you know I, there's one way of doing these things this is my personal list it's my personal choice something that we think you can uh, knit with our yarn of course you know you mm -hmm. can knit it with the original yarn and everything else but you know uh, i know my yarn we know our yarn so that's what we do <laughs> but uh, and i do have one show that i will show in a minute i thought it was odd to put it on because i'm in my daughter's bedroom it would be odd to put a show. <laughs> to show up to turn around you see all of the toys so i start from the sort of the um the biggest uh, the one that you've been more, the most popular one which i think Rhinelust. is Rhinelust. so this is the name yeah. i don't know if carlotta or elena if you're there you can just type the name for people because you can see them uh, upside down so it's not very yeah. convenient but so that you know, we all of these are, most of them at least, are also on our website under uh, kits and bundles. So you can always look them up, get the kit if you want to, or call your local yarn stores if uh, they are on the list of retail partners. If they have the yarn, they can ship that to you as well. You don't always have to uh, buy through us, of course. And so Rhinelos is the first one of yours that uh, uh, that we did. And is uh, uh, is is like a, 
timeless you know i see people mm -hmm. making it again and again and again did, did you knit it or did you have someone i have somebody knitting it you have someone yes yes because, um, i'm i'm usually known for my easy to knit patterns because i really enjoy easy patterns because i think we we all have stressful and complicated lives so when we finally have time to spend with our hobby it's so good to not stress yourself out with the hobby yeah. and just make something easy something enjoyable oh some people enjoy making super complicated things and that's perfect but for me i know i i like it to be well relaxing for my mind yeah. like giving my hands something to work on while my thoughts can travel a bit so I, that's what i really like but Rheinlust is different so you really have to like get your concentration together and focus on the pattern yeah. and everyone i talked to told me that oh my god this pattern it is so hard to understand in the beginning but once but you've once made you it and repeat, yeah. you'll click and then it's easy sailing but um Yes, it is. It does take some some more time. concentration in the beginning. And I think the, the second one that uh, this is uh, actually, you know, the second that we did, and uh, I asked uh, a sample, a friend, a sample knitter here in New York to do it, um, and is the open waters shawl. <coughs> you have it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's still it's one of my favorite. It's the thing, the one pictured on the. Yeah. On the pattern. There you go. And you have a cowl, so there's also a cowl option. And yes. somebody's asking, most of, most of your patterns are also available in German, yeah? Yes, most of them are, but yeah. I think this one not, but uh, no. most of them are available. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, so both the Rhine Lust and the Open Waters, we did it with, uh, it's funny because when we saw, do you remember when we saw your, uh, your sample and our sample, they look so similar. In terms of the colors and, uh, yes, and the, the, and the texture, was, yes, yeah, yeah. And uh, so we use our baby yak silk. It's fifty percent baby yak, fifty percent silk, and uh, uh, it takes nine skeins of uh, each for both uh, both mm -hmm. versions. And it's really nice. You have that uh, um, glowing of the of the yarn, that shininess, yeah. whatever. And the stitch that. definition is there. Yeah. So you really need for the rhinos pattern and also for the. Um, open waters shawl you really want to have a good stitch yes. definition so that yeah. you can see how the pattern well yeah uh, unfolds yeah and um, so the next I, one which is I will show you talking about not easy again is the uh, white out right. that's the second of my patterns that is a little more intricate a little more complicated and these, but these are the only two. So funny okay, that you. That's good. You see, I picked them. <laughs> and uh, this is our one. This is the one we have. Oh, no, no. I just it's don't so give it up. I just don't want anybody to touch it by me. <laughs> so, no, sometimes I tell you, but this is so beautiful. It's, it's amazing. It's so timeless in this color combination, yeah. Yeah. I think. And uh, for this one, we use our baby up lace that makes it just mm -hmm. single. It makes it so light and so soft, uh, and I think we use the lazy day and um, another oh. the 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 oatmeal which I have somewhere here. I think we use this color mm -hmm. combination, so it's a hundred percent baby yak, and I'm using this for another show right now. That's why it's in uh, caked up. But you know, any combination is um, is uh, is great mm -hmm. for that, and. Uh, um, so the next one is uh, um, also like one of our best sellers actually is uh, True Colors. True Colors. Yeah. Our version is uh, very, 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 very colorful. It's very colorful. I remember seeing the kids at the retreat. Yeah. You had them packed in, in yes. small bags for everyone. And yeah, yeah. that was, was lovely to yeah, and just enjoy the colors. In the colors and we made that you know we, we know i think we made with all of them it's like you know i think all of these mm -hmm. go into mm -hmm. the shawl and uh, um, the good news is that we have some kits but the good news for uh, um, we have the kits here in the us but for the european uh, uh, unfortunately we uh, sold out of some of the colors so uh, for european customers this shawl is not available on our website but is available for sure 
through uh, Loop London. And Susan has the kits. She has the shawl as well in her store. And uh, I just, you know, we, I think um, Susan said that she can open the online store back on May 1st. So if you are in Europe and you want the true color, just order through Luplando. You support her and uh, you support us as well and support Melanie. So that's good. But, uh, uh, you know, and it's good that she can open uh, her store as well. And talking about Loop, I saw the beautiful video that you did uh, uh, with Susan. It was amazing. It was very beautiful, uh, oh. beautifully done. And, yeah. Uh, just see an uh, insight of your life there as well. It was really nice. It was a fantastic project. I really enjoyed it immensely. And I felt very connected to Susan. Hello, Susan. I, I see your oh, comments. Yeah. I, so, so cool to have you here listening today. Um, so I... I felt very connected to Susan and it was a lovely memory of all the times I was in London teaching at Loop. Also, Susan introduced me to Richard Young, the video maker who is actually, well, who, who cut everything together because obviously the two, the three of us couldn't meet for this yeah. collaboration. Yeah. It was, well, even if it was not in Corona times, then we, well, it would still be difficult to travel, and but now in Corona times, of course, it's it's absolutely impossible. So um, Susan asked me if I would like to join in, and I I was absolutely thrilled and very honored, and I agreed. And then she put me in touch with Richard, who is a very skillful, well, video or filmmaker, and. Um, I am not, <laughs> so I, I have actually never done anything like that. So he gave me some advice on how, I, because I had to, to make all video scenes here at home and I don't, oh, are you still? Ah, okay, yeah, it was just yeah. a little, I was just, just a little. Um, uh. So for me, I, I was learning a lot of new things, like like, I don't know. How to make a video clip i mean yeah. how to make one that is okay yeah. <laughs> right that you want other people to see and yeah. um nice. there was one point when i thought oh my god this is going to be terrible because really i all i'm producing here is it, it i don't know it it doesn't look good it's very unprofessional and then i just kept well texting richard with oh my god what should i do i'm i'm I, I have no idea what to do. And he was always like very calm and said, oh, you're doing such a good job. And oh, this is very right. good. And just send me whatever you have. And then I will make the clip. And yeah. then I did as he suggested. And then he came up with this lovely clip. It's which... really beautiful. And somebody's asking, you can actually see that, uh, you can actually see the short video on Loop London's um, Loop London, uh, Instagram feed. And uh, uh, Susan is posting, uh, oh, um, yeah, she's posting once a week. Sorry, I was reading her Thank comments you. and uh, uh, posting it once a week. And uh, the the next one was um, uh, is up already as well. And uh, uh, yeah, and you know, Susan. Sorry, it's not that Susan is not sponsoring <laughs> this chat, but this is one of my personal <laughs> favorite. We do not have a kit. We do not have it on a website, but it would be lovely in a yarn. But this is a collaboration that you did with her. And this is like yeah. one of my personal favorite that I think that's what I will need next is the winter mute. It is winter mute. And I'm not sure whether the yarn is still available. I think the company. No, probably closed. not, but it's, but it's a finger and weight. So, and, uh, and Susan can advise yeah. on what you need it with. I will need it. Yes. With. You can easily substitute, but I really fell in love with that yarn color. And also, of course, with the beautiful photography that, that yeah. Susan is always yeah. doing. Or yeah. is always, I, I, I don't think Susan is taking the photos. I think she has a, she yeah. has a photographer to do yeah. that. And it's, well, it is always this beautiful loop style. It so is. it is really it's just unique. Very, yeah. It is unique. It is very, um, well, you see it, you want it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you, well, thank I you, mean, Susan. for you, it worked obviously. Yeah. So. Exactly. I will. I definitely. And I said that to Susan. You know, I will do it for me. And she says it will be gorgeous in the baby yak and sail. Uh, going on, moving on. Oh gosh, it's fast. Um, the calligraphy shawl. 
And this is like a set. Sorry, I put it in the plastic. Calligraphy, shawl, it comes with a hat. It is a beautiful image of you, by the way. I know you always it's take your own photo photography, mm -hmm. but it's the mix, right. the shawl, and the hat. And mm -hmm. uh, do you want to talk about this one? That's the only one that I have. I have, I have this watch. Oh, it's, you made a mini version of it. Already. I made a mini version of it. Yeah. Yeah. I tried cool. it. And Amy, my friend Amy, who is old such data, an, she did the test knitting for you. What did you say? Amy, who did the test knitting for you for the mitts and the hat. Yeah. She's also yeah. making the shawl in this color. Awesome. Awesome. It is such an easy stitch pattern. I mean, again, it's one of these, they look good. And they knit up extremely easily, which is what I, what I really enjoy. And um, Amy is doing another test knit for she me is. right now. Yes, yeah. it is the uh, which 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 is oh the, my God. the oh the other one that you just something that you just posted. Can the make it yours. Yeah, make it yours. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Big triangle. Yes, yes. 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 And, so, and uh, she's uh, she's following us. So Amy, in case you're there, you want to say which one you're doing. Hi, Gigi. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but we did that with the Tibetan cloud, and it was uh, uh -huh. make it yours. Thank you, Amy. That was the yeah the one she's test knitting. Hi, Amy. But we started with the mitts, and then she did the hat. So we took uh, for the mitts and the hat, we took one skein of cloud mm. of the Tibetan cloud in this beautiful gray salice grigio. We did the mitts and she says, you know what? I still have yarn left. So she did the hat with just one skein, mitts mm -hmm. and hats. And then uh, um, I said, okay, let's do the shawl now. Of course, you know, I'm very, you know, say, please do it. <laughs> and so I, just, I just sent her the yarn and she's so fast and so good. And, uh, and so Perfect. I did the boton d'oro actually, it's not calendula. So we yeah. did the shawl. That yellow, that yellow is amazing. Yeah. I, I really like that colorway. It's so, really good. We do, we do that, and uh, that's uh, but the only thing I got from her yet, <laughs> because she said. But you get an idea. So she's doing, uh, uh, she's doing that as well, and uh, um, the rock my shawl. I think I chose this because of the not the, because of the colors which I love, but because of the name, rock my shawl. <laughs> I mean, yeah, rock my shawl is. It's a new release or new wish. I think it came out in January, so not yeah. so long ago. And um, it's a pattern I, I really enjoy because of the yarn. Um, it is a collaboration I made together with the guys at Pasquale Yarn. Yes. It's a small yarn company, very local to me. And um, it was such a nice collaboration because I could always jump in the car and drive over to them. It's like a 20 minute drive. And usually I'm collaborating with people all over the world, and which is awesome, but it's always emails or video chat or phone calls. It is very seldom that you really get the yeah. chance to, well, let's have lunch together today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It was very enjoyable. And uh, so we created this yarn and I was free to choose like fiber content and uh, weight and twist and all of the characteristics and then we got lots of samples from the yarn mill and we could go through them and decide well which are the ones that we like more and which are well not so good so that was really a very interesting process and then creating the colorways that was fun to do because it is so much freedom that you have all of a sudden usually my designing work is always beginning with the yarn but yeah. the yarn is always there already. So there is a yarn company and uh, I, I choose yarn, but from a given palette, from, from a given catalog. And this time it was different in a way that I could create that catalog together with them. And that was super enjoyable. Also the guys at Pasquale, they are amazing. They are really very, I, have you met them at H&H? &H? I met them at H&H &H because yeah, they were mm -hmm. doing a similar fiber that we had. They were very nice as well. And I think, having the possibility as a designer, I believe having the possibility to go through the entire process also makes, you know, makes you understand the yarn even more, I believe, because then, you know, mm -hmm. you probably already have some uh, design in mind when you choose the colors. Yeah. Yes. And you are, I mean, it's like in the candy store, you are standing yeah. there and you can say, I want from these and I want from these and it's like Christmas and birthday and everything yeah. happen, happening at the same day. So that's really good. That's I mean, 
I don't have to tell you. No, yeah, and uh, the, the color palette, uh, which uh, uh, some of the colors are very similar to us, which made me very happy because it means I'm doing something right with colors too. <laughs> Those similar colors. And, uh, um, and I remember seeing them at Rock Knitting Live and they were very, very, very nice. And uh, they, weighed, uh, uh, they weighed as well. So, but it's nice. Uh, it was nice to see that. And uh, I think somebody, yeah, the Rock My Shawl, we did it with our lace, uh, with our lace weight. So you can see it was a similar colors that we picked for this one as well of course you know i have to stick my really dusty, very similar. dusty yeah. pink uh, elmas cool. everywhere you know somebody says that I, i'm not doing a show without but you know it's not true i've been trying to try to abandon <laughs> my pink for i don't know purple <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um color shift is also one of your newest yeah color shift is yeah it? well it's it well for you two months is old yeah yeah kind of <laughs> <laughs> i said literally if i see i'm sure that if i just turn on instagram right now rather there is a new pattern out there that you just clicked and posted <laughs> while you were talking i have no idea how you do it <laughs> but um the other oh sorry maybe it was rain shadow what was that no no it was color shift that i meant to but there's another one that uh, uh Actually, it was a beautiful uh, design uh, that you put up for free. Is the rainy, oh, the rainy day, the rainy, the rainy day, day. Mm -hmm. yeah, hat and yeah. mix. That is lovely. I just don't have it here, unfortunately. But that, if everybody wants to just start with one of you know, I'm sure everybody has all of your patterns like me. But if you want to start with just one small project, the rainy, the rainy day hat. When what made what made you decide to put that one up for free? the corona situation <laughs> definitely so it's something i i usually never do like giving my work away for free because there's i don't know there's a lot of disadvantages to yeah. that and i i think it devaluates your work yeah. and it i don't know it doesn't feel good in a way because a lot of people don't realize how much time goes into writing a knitting pattern. Even if it's just like a three or four pages PDF, it takes months of work because you have to like come up with an idea, coordinate getting the yarn, coordinate while well, communicating with the company and um, having a design idea, swatching a lot, discarding and getting a new idea and then swatching more and then knitting it up and then writing it up and then making photography, making layout, tech editing it, test knitting it, yeah. marketing it, publishing it. So it's like a huge tale of tasks that yeah. you have to do. So giving it away for free is, I don't know, it does not feel like the right thing for me to do. And I've never done that in all the yeah. years of my uh well, of my design work now. Um, but then the corona situation came and it just, I had the patterns ready to be published and I just thought, okay, I want to like give something, some positivity to the knitting world and enable people to just grab some yarn, grab some needles and knit a quick project to also maybe give away to a friend or yeah. well, just a family member or to keep to yourself so like a little project instant gratification and um, that's why I gave them away for free but only for a limited amount of time it was like a like a week or half a week or something yeah. like that yeah. So, yeah well a lot of people downloaded the they patterns. did, they did. yeah and it was very nice I think you know yeah. it was very nice of you mm -hmm. to do that um you know I have I, I could go on but I'm, I'm just I want to talk about your book as well. So, uh, Helgoland. I know this is an older one. Yes, it is. It is. And Helgoland is the name of an island in the North Sea in Germany. A very special island because it broke in two. Um, there was like a huge storm and then there was some, some cliff or so. And I don't know the exact story, but the island is two parts uh, today or nowadays very dramatic story and um, it is a popular place to spend your holidays very beautiful landscape and well if, if you like to be at the sea then or at, 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 the, sea, at the ocean side then um, Helgoland is a wonderful place uh, to, to spend your holidays 
and um, this Helgoland shawl was a collaboration with Rosie Green. It's the same yeah. guys I'm doing yeah. the Knitters Against Malaria yeah. fundraiser together with. They are a small yarn company in Munich and they focus on producing um, in, an, in a very ethical and sustainable way. So all their yarns are GOTS certified. GOTS is a, um, a very strict textile yeah. certificate. And um, well, they are, they are just lovely people and um, the yarns are amazing. Yeah. So yeah, I, and I, I don't think they are distributed any... uh, here in the US by Yarn Culture, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Right, yeah. Yarn Culture in New York, uh, in New York yeah. distributing their yarn and they are, um, I think they should also be, well, yes, uh, Yarn Culture is the distributor and there's numerous yarn shops yeah. who carry yeah, 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 yeah. But the Yarn Culture is right a distributor. Like uh, uh, also they're distributing all of your printed patterns as well, which yeah. I'm very, yeah. always happy yeah. to have. And this is our, um, this is our Helgoland mm. with the Tibetan cloud. So it's, I'm just waiting for somebody to raise their hands if they want to need this one. You always call for some ponytails. So. <laughs> Amy, sorry, <laughs> should I keep this to you tomorrow? <laughs> um, <coughs> and uh, you know, there are so many, but I don't think we have enough time for, for everything. Do you have one that is your, I know Eva is very difficult, but is there one that you're more attached to? I know there is one uh, project that you're very, very attached to, but, uh, 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 but I let you, do you want to talk about uh, whatever you think you are the most attached to? Well, I'm most attached to the, the blanket, of course, yeah. the from grandma yeah. with love blanket, which is, um, it's the only blanket pattern I ever, I, I, I ever released. And, um, it is a blanket. It's a design I made in honor of my mother-in-law who passed away a couple of years ago, very suddenly, very unexpectedly. And then, uh, she, she had some yarn over because she was an avid knitter and then when we went through her belongings we found the yarn which was actually yarn that I had given to her as a gift and then um, we thought oh wh what should I do with that yarn it, it was clear to me that I wanted to make something for the children and I did not want to make like a garment or so because I thought the children would grow out of it one day or yeah. very quickly because the kids grow so quickly and then yeah. It would be useless in a way and i wanted to have something that would well always be of use and always be like around so i thought the blanket would be the perfect project and uh, actually the, the so the blanket is finished now already for like two or three years or so and it is downstairs in the living room and the children whenever we watch tv with them so we now, especially now in Corona times, we are doing a lot of video evenings together with them, like watching famous movies like Pirates of the Caribbean, oh, and right. yeah, 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 Indiana yeah. Jones and Ghostbusters. So all yeah. these very classy movies. And uh, they always cuddle up with that That's blanket. So yes. And we... the name is From Grandma With Love. For uh, um, If you're interested, the pattern is on Ravelry. And it's amazing, the colors, the, but the story behind uh, when you posted about it the mm -hmm. first time is, uh, is, you know, it's so personal and so, uh, so nice. And it's so nice that you actually share that as well with, uh, with all yeah. of us. And it makes me very happy because it is, a, it is so sad that my mother-in-law had to pass away so early and yeah. so well, early. And... Uh, so I'm, I'm still sad when I think about it, but also it is so good to have the memories and there is also a lot of positive energy that is coming from, well, from the good memories yeah. and also from just having that blanket, it feels like a bit of her is still yes. around. Yeah. That's, that is really good. Yeah. Yeah. That's so sweet. I wish we had the time to talk much more. It's, uh, you know, uh, you have books, you have patterns, you have your passion for climbing and you have your other mm -hmm. passion as well that uh, I think we could just go on for another hour at least. Uh, Is the time over already? Or we are almost running out of yes, time, we're right? we're almost running yeah. out of time. We only have three minutes left. 
So, yeah. um, so I, I wanted to ask all the time, how are you doing? <laughs> we can take another, another chat to do that. I'm another, another round. Yes, another time. Let's do another round with it. I think I'm doing the best I can, you know, staying at home with my one, with my six years old, homeschooling and uh, uh, taking the time to focus on, uh, uh, on my yak and talk to my team, trying to think, you know, what's going to be next. I'm always a positive. I always have plan B and plan C. I'm a planner. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to make sure that I always uh, think, you know, what can we do better? How can we improve? And we have so many people depending on us. You know, I'm thinking about all the community of nomads yes. back in Tibet. Yes. They are waiting for us to, to, you know, to, buy the, uh, to buy the fiber from them. And this coronavirus has followed us from Tibet, then Italy, mm -hmm. and then New York. So we are sort of, you know, <laughs> my has been at the center yeah. of, this, uh, uh, of, of this problem. And, uh, you know, I'm taking it very seriously. Um, open for the best. I'm sure that things will change um, eventually. And uh, I think that's why we decided to do this, just to, you know, even to put out my fear of everything is happening, to be together with other people, to, to be with the community, giving back in the way that we can, so that we can continue, we can survive as well. <coughs> Whether with the stores and, uh, you know, the retailers that we have, the friends that we have, the meters that we have, and just having an opportunity, you know, just like an excuse to have a chat with the people that we love as well, like yourself. So, yes. yeah. but, uh, um, I think, you know, I want to thank everybody that keeps following us is, uh, I'm, you know, I started one as a joke so to see, you know, really see how it was going. This thing is growing and I'm so, you know, we are so proud. We are so happy that uh, everybody's saying yes to us and they're coming uh, uh, on board with us. But, uh, you know, for me, this, you know, you, you're a special one and you know, so uh, I'm so happy that, uh, that we did this yeah. and uh, hopefully we can make yeah. another one eventually if this, if we have to stay home for much longer. But, well, count me in any time. Yeah. I, I really loved talking to you, also seeing you. It's like, you know, I really miss all you guys so much and it's like, yeah, it's just good to be in touch and to, well, see your face and hear your voice. And yeah, I want to give you a hug. <laughs> yes, let's look. We have a special <laughs> hug. Yes. Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> and thank you, everybody. Thank you for uh, uh, joining me, joining Melanie. Good night, Melanie. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank, bye, you, bye. thank you. To see you. Bye. Take care. Bye -bye. Thank you all so very much for watching us. See you at the next episode.